Welcome back, 0k fans! To Natalie is it done? I remain Chad Fury 333 your host. Now we have the last match of Akinem and Google Frog's friendly little best of three, and it is on Isle of Grief, a map that is probably the most clustered map, like most metal cluster oriented map that's popular now. Like seriously, the distance between metal clusters. I know this is based off of a Star I'm pretty sure this is based off a StarCraft 2 map. I'm not sure which StarCraft 2 map. I don't really play StarCraft 2 much. Although, I have actually tried out Legacy of the Void, or at least the starter edition of Legacy of the Void. I like some of the changes they made. I like the game speed change, or the game pace change. I like the fact that Chrono Boost is now a thing you don't have to click on all the time, because the only real choice of that was what to Chrono Boost. I don't really like the fact that the other macro mechanics are still kind of just there for tedium's sake. But, that's a rant for another day. Anyway. Like overall, really, Protoss feels like the best design species in terms of their overall mechanics, and the other two just don't. Just like, they're, like overall, StarCraft 2 in general, I always felt like they worked hardest on Protoss. But anyway, Spider versus Amphib. Another matchup you don't see very often. Although this map is pretty friendly to Spider, it's not the most friendly to Spider. If the cliffs were considerably higher, it would be much friendlier to Spiders, but it's not. It's very friendly to Amphibious, though. So oftentimes you see Amphib Mirrors, or occasionally Amphib versus Light Vehicle. Seen that a few times. Desert Oasis, thank you. Sprung, Sprung pointing out Desert Oasis is the name of the StarCraft 2 map this is based on. But I'm pretty sure that was like Wings of Liberty meta. Like, I don't even think that's been popular for the last few years. Like that particular map, I should say. Anyway, Google Frog is... Well, pretty good for energy. Akinem a little bit hungry for energy right now. They went entirely for wind generators, and they are able to have enough energy for their metal, but as they're expanding, they are going to need probably more solar plants. Raid coming in from Google Frog. This is something Akinem is aware of. They have radar coverage. They know this is coming. They have Venom and Redback available. And Fleas for distraction! Because what are fleas for if not distracting the enemies? Well, it looked like they didn't manage to actually synchronize properly. But that's two ducks down for basically free. So this is going to be interesting. Like I said before, spider actually, I should say, partly shieldbot matchups, partly spiderbot matchups are unexplored. Like, Spider versus Cloaky is heavily explored, Spider versus Jumpbot's fairly explored. But Shieldbot versus Jumpbot, I haven't seen I've seen a bit of. Shieldbot versus Spiderbot, no. Amp versus pretty much anything but other Amp and maybe Cloaky? Not much. For bot matchups at least. For vehicle matchups, yes. Like you see Amp versus Hovercraft, or sometimes Amp versus Light Vehicles. Or Pokemokas involved, you see Amp versus everything. But not so much this. Amph versus Spider, or Amphibious versus Spider. And yeah, Spring Point. Akinem is the Amph. Akinem is the Amphib map, or Amphib player. This is Google Frog. This is Akinem. So yeah, sorry, it was. Yeah, right, Google Frog had the energy. Sorry, my mistake. Google Frog has the energy. Akinem's the one who's falling behind with only the two solar collectors. Google Frog's the one with a nice wind gen farm. I. I was kind of confused and thinking, this much, this many wind gens should be fine, because it is fine, because Google Frog's doing fine. Ugh. Sorry about that. I have it right here. No excuses. So Akinem is going to be... Well, I guess trying to... Trying to delay Google Frog's expansion. I'm a little surprised they aren't checking out this area down here. They probably aren't aware of that. No, no, they're not. But... They really should check it out, because this area is probably going to be a problem. Or to be more precise, it's a problem that Akinem can most easily deal with. Up on land, it's pretty even. I mean, okay, it's down to how powerful Spider vs. Amphib is. I haven't seen it too much. But in the water, just due to the speed difference, which admittedly isn't huge, spiders are largely fairly slow, but still, it makes a slow unit even slower. The Amphibs could easily just run through here and smash this entire area up. But the question is, are they going to? I don't know. We'll find out, I guess. But yeah, I have no idea. Looks like they aren't going to do, though. Looks like they're just pretty content to hang out here. Just 
trying to do what they can to stop Google Frog from expanding further, or at least from attacking their expansion. Yeah, Akanem at this point has not taken the eastern side of the map, while Google Frog has taken the center west side of the map, and Akanem also not taking the northwest side, while Google Frog is taking the southeast. So overall, Google Frog is getting way ahead economically, and Akanem is trailing at best. If they're even following, and there we go, Duck coming in and getting killed for its efforts. Getting one shot off. I saw a few boys coming in before. Yeah, there, there, there's the boys. Which makes sense. Scallops coming in as well, which will survive one Venom shot. But this is the real problem. Google Frog coming in with the gunships. Very early gunships, which... Not even... Going for Hermit Drop from the looks of it, but otherwise not really even worrying about it. Getting... Ooh. Wait, what just napalmed? Oh, Blastwing! Right! Of course, I forgot about those. I only saw the, the Banshees, I didn't see the Blastwings. Yeah, Blastwings are now a thing differently than they used to be. Like, instead of Blastwings being the explosion with shrapnel, now they're explosion with fireball. Totally forgot about that. Oh, no, never mind. It's a Weaver Drop. Defense Rush? Huh. That's not something I've really seen before. At least not often. So yeah, we are seeing a Lotus Rush. How appropriate for a StarCraft map that you get effectively a cannon rush. But that's what happened. Closing out this best of three with a Lotus Drop Rush. I don't recall having seen that in 0k at least before, but that just happened. Mark it, I guess. That's a thing that happened. So let's see. 206. I can do another one. So there's another match that was also Google Frog. Google Frog versus Clone on Living Lands. This is not, as far as I know, part of any friendly series. This is just a match. So that'll be up in a couple minutes. Stay tuned.